Hey everyone, this is a prompt breakdown study. I'm basically going to go through how I take a prompt, any prompt really, this is already one that I was working on before, and then strip it down to the minimal possible words basically, and then I can start playing with it. So let's get to it. I am using Midjourney version 5.1, which is the current default version. And the only other thing that I'm adding to this prompt is the aspect ratio parameter, which is the widescreen aspect ratio. And I will add that on at the end of each prompt. The initial prompt that I start with is this. High fashion portrait shoot of a supermodel in the style of curved mirrors, symmetrical, neoclassical style, ultra realistic, hyper detailed, and then I'll add the aspect ratio. This is one that I used before and you may recognize this if you watch the other video that I have up already. And this is what that particular prompt produced. This one I added also the word Indian for the nationality. The first thing that I do is I take out two things, the curved mirrors and neoclassical style. And then I decided to just randomly add in Iceland because I wanted to put this super, supermodel somewhere and whatever the location is, feel free to place the subject. It doesn't have to be supermodel anywhere you want. So I just decided to randomly choose Iceland. So let's see what happens. These are the images once I removed those two parameters and added Iceland. You may notice here that there's a line in the middle. Sometimes that happens when you specify that you want symmetrical images. So just FYI. Next, I wanted to remove even more. So this time I'm taking out ultra realistic and hyper detailed. And let's see what happens. This is what happens. And so what I'm doing when I'm stripping these words out of the prompt, I'm just observing what happens. I'm just taking note of the changes that I may see here, if any. Uh, these last two words specifically don't necessarily look like there was a lot of changes. By the way, this girl looks cold. Next, I wanted to remove high out of the high fashion portrait shoot, just to see if high fashion is different from fashion. Let's see. Here is the fashion photo shoot images. And again, you can definitely see the symmetry in here. And some of them are a little bit closer up than others, but pretty much these are all portraits. And by the way, doesn't this one look a little bit like JLo? Interesting. Next, let's move out fashion. Let's take it out. So now it's just a portrait shoot of a supermodel. We still have a supermodel in Iceland and it's still symmetrical. Let's see what happens. I love this particular one. I think this is super cool. This is one of my favorites. Can you tell the difference? Do you see a difference? Next, I decided to try a swap a word. What if I take out a photo or portrait shoot and replace it with photo? Will that make a difference? Let's find out. Still looks pretty much the same. Now, keep in mind that if you take out photo and shoot or don't have either, you will not get photos most of the time. You will get illustrations and other random things. So you will have to have photo or a shoot somehow to specify that you're looking for a photograph. All right. Next, I'm going to leave the photo here and take out symmetrical. What happens when you have symmetrical in the image? You already saw the subject is placed pretty much in the middle and both sides of the subject are the same. Once you take out symmetrical, you can start seeing some variations like this one here. 
And here, although this one, the model is still in the middle, but there is some differences on both sides of her. And here she's in a little bit more of an angle and also behind her, there are differences. So it is definitely not symmetrical. And this gives, in my opinion, a bit more of an organic look, which, you know, could be something that you're after. And, you know, personally, sometimes I prefer a more symmetrical one and sometimes I like more of the organic look. All right. So now the prompt is pretty much stripped as much as we can. So now we can start playing with this a little bit more. I'm going to add different elements. I'm going to replace the supermodel with young woman, country girl, carefree girl. Again, you could throw in anything that you want. And then I'm going to play with some other elements, summer, overcast and evening light. So that that way I can kind of tell and see what differences there are in those instances. So let's take a look. This is the young woman country girl. This is the carefree girl, although I'm not sure if she looks super carefree. This one still has symmetrical in it as well. And you can totally tell. This one is a young woman. And here is the summer evening. Oh, and this one here is overcast. So I just wanted to see what the lighting does. And here is summer evening. This is another one of my favorites of this series. And here is a cold winter. <laughs> definitely, she, she definitely looks cold, yeah? Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. You can also find me on Twitter and you can follow me, ask me questions as, as well there and share your work. I would love to see what you come up with.